Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about Bayes rule. Now it's a simple rule to get the conditional probability of A given B from the conditional probability of B given A. Now probability of A given B is probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. Now probability of A intersection B can be written as probability of B given A times probability of A. Therefore, probability of A given B can be written as probability of B given A times probability of A divided by the probability of B. Now sometimes we may not know the probability of B. In those cases, we can expand probability of B in this way. Probability of B can be written as probability of B given A times probability of A plus probability of B given A complement times probability of A complement. Now A and A complement are this partition. That is why we are able to write the probability of B in this form. Now this is a very useful formula and is used for inferring hidden causes underlying our observations. So while this formula might look big, it is, it is very useful in a bunch of cases. So we'll study this formula using an example. Now let us consider that you're testing for some latent disease that won't become symptomatic until sometime into the future. Now, what we can do is we can conduct some tests and we can directly observe the outcome of this test. Now, assuming that the test is not 100% accurate, we can't directly observe whether we have the disease or not. So we have two possible hidden causes for a positive test result. Say you conduct the test and you get a positive test result, we can't conclude that you have the disease because of this uh, reason that the test is not 100% accurate. Now, we have the disease and the test is correct. This is one of those cases. Or we don't have the disease and the test has given a false positive. What we are interested in is we want to infer which hidden cause underlies our observation. That is, we want to know if we have the disease, which is the uh, underlying hidden cause. So let's try to understand this and, and solve this problem using an example. Now, let's add some numbers to that example that we just saw. Let us assume that a disease affects 2% of a population. And at this point, it's, there are no symptoms. Now we've conducted a test and the test gives a false positive uh, rate of 1%. And the false negative rate is 5%. Now, let's assume that we take the test and the result of the test is positive. This is an observation that we can make. Now, the question that we're really interested in is, given that we have tested positive, what is the chance that we have the disease? Because ultimately, that's what we care about, whether we have the disease or not. So to do that, let us introduce two events. Let T be the event that the test gives a positive result and D is the event that we have the disease. Now, based on our observation, we know the probability that the entire population uh, has that disease. That is the probability of D occurring is like 2% of the population. What we are really interested in is probability of D given T. Given the fact that we have tested positive, we're interested to know whether we have the disease or not. So the things that we know, probability of D is 0 0.02. That is, 2% of the population has this disease or is affected by this disease. Then, what we also know is probability of T complement given disease is 0 0.05. That is, even uh, if you have the disease, it will give a negative result in 0 0.05 cases. And then, probability of T given uh, D complement, that is you don't have the disease, but the test will come out to be positive, is 0 0.01. Now, with this set of information, what we want to find out is probability of D given T. Now, that is, we have the disease given that the test has come out to be positive. Now, how do we go about doing this? So, we apply Bayes' rule. Now, what we have is probability of D given T, which can be written as probability of T given T, D multiplied by the probability of T. And what we can do is we can expand the denominator as we did 
in this formula for Bayes rule. We can do that by doing probability of t given d multiplied with the probability of t plus probability of t given d complement multiplied with the probability of d complement. Now this formula lets us get the conditional probability of an observation given the hidden cost, which we usually know. We're going to use this to find the conditional probability of the hidden cost given an observation. That is, we're going to find out the conditional probability that we whether we have the disease given an observation, which is that the test has come out to be positive. This is what we usually care for. So using the base formula, we can calculate this. So let's see how we can go about doing that. Now, recall that we have a bunch of numbers. We are going to plug in these numbers and see if that's going to be sufficient. Now, we know that probability of D is 0.02 and probability of T complement given D is 0.05. Probability of T given D complement is 0.01. Now, we also know that probability of T given D, that can be calculated if we know probability of T complement given D because they have to add up to 1. So probability of T given D is going to be 1 minus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. Now, we can just plug in these numbers. The same uh, logic we can apply to, uh, <clears throat> we can apply to calculate probability of D complement, because we know probability of D, which is um, 0 0.02. So probability of D complement is 1 minus probability of D. So it's going to be 0 0.95. So by plugging in these numbers, what we have in the numerator is 0 0.95, which is probability of t given d, multiplied by probability of t, which is 0 0.02, divided by probability of t given d, which is 0 0.95, multiplied by probability of t, which is 0 0.02. We know the probability of t given d complement, which is 0 0.01, and we know the probability of d complement, which is 0 0.0. 0 0.98, which we get by 1 minus probability of t. And using this, what we find out is we have probability of disease, given that the test is positive, is 0 0.66. So even though the test came out to be positive, the probability that we have the disease, given that the test is positive, is 0 0.66. So we can be, we are studied in this video how we can find out the conditional probability or infer the conditional probability using the Bayes rule. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, please watch my channel. Thank you.